gets knocked out of bounds off the hands of Jordan Collins. And CBC will take over. Once again, use the vector, Mr. Blue Collar at that time. Knock that ball off of Collins, getting into the passing lanes. Sample bring it up for CBC. Pressed by Forte. Ryan Johnson takes control for the cadets. Ryan Johnson on the baseline with the left hand. Trying to draw a foul with Sandusky, no whistle. In fact, come the Stags. He's going to be staying back in their zone defense here. And Natha not really rushing their patient as well. Collins back out to Sandusky. Jay thinking about another three instead of baseline. Shot too strong and the rebound by Ryan Johnson. Natha really hasn't looked inside too much. Uh, Collins had a nice touch inside, but really hasn't had too many touches. Ryan Johnson hits the three. The ball reversal off the transition that time, and Ryan Johnson, once again, uh, when he's able to set his feet, he'll knock it down from time to time. He's able to get set his feet and uh, get the three-point shot and bring the lead back to 10. Leading scorer for CBC, Ryan Johnson now with 12. Forte on the baseline, a little short. Controlled by CBC, Ryan Johnson pushing it up, playing Sandusky. Shot is good, and a foul called against Sandusky, and all of a sudden the game getting a little closer. Ryan Johnson will head to the free throw line. First credit, Larry Jones with Tamar Macklin with great hustle, tipping that ball to Ryan Johnson. Nice body control, because Sandusky's going to try to take the charge, moves it over to the left hand, from the left to the right hand, and that, that's what drew the three-point play opportunity. That's great body control by Ryan Johnson, drew the contact and the foul and the three-point play chance. In case you weren't listening at halftime, I'm going to take you through today's games and the scores from games that have happened already. This is the ninth game of ten to be played, one more to come. At 8 a.m., it was the victory for Nokomis, Illinois, with Jennings losing to Minnetonka. University City falling to Washington Union. New Haven defeated Bunker Hill. Troy Buchanan over Tampa, Florida Prep. Peoria Central, a six-point win. Grissom with the loss to Nashville. Mount Vernon with a 95-76 win over Rainier Beach. And the great night for Kent Williams with 48 points. And our game with Warsaw, Illinois, and Red Lake, Minnesota to come later. Two more records, Lori Chase of Rosary. 20 rebounds in the first game against the opponents and J.C. Sanders of Florida, Tampa Prep, nine block shots to tie and break new shootout records as well as Kent Williams for the This is Bogans for three. It's not there, and Sandusky hustling for the rebound. Bogans will try it again. Why not? He's going to Kentucky, and he hits. Yeah, you better shoot the three if you're going to go play for Tubby Smith in Kentucky because uh, they do it about as anybody, well as anybody in the country. Duke also a, a great three-point shooting team as well. I think, he'll, I think Tubby can find a spot for Keen Bogan somewhere in that Wildcat backboard. Oh, yeah. They yeah. can always find room in the play. Martin Stone, the kid from Huntsville, Christmas 16, also here. Sam McGray couldn't get it. Larry Jones with a rebound, and he fouled. Big man needs a touch. That's one thing. Big men, big men don't get touches. They get disinterested very quick. So you give him, he gets a touch, one touch, and puts it in. You watch how he starts running down the court. He'll block a shot, do these things. Billy, you got a post play. I know how they take. There you go. <laughs> Great drive, but no finish by Keith Bogans. And here comes CBC Johnson. Sandusky. We've seen this before, and same result as Ryan Johnson hits again. 17 points for Ryan Johnson. And the foul called underneath as Hogue rejected Bogan. In this particular game, Ryan Johnson has probably been the most impressive performer of any of either team. That type of transition once again gave a little faith to avoid the charge from Sandusky. And uh, once again, uh, Ryan Johnson and Sandusky, this time he gave him a little bit of the, the shoulder, then turn back to his strong side with a soft five footer and 17 points for RJ. But I tell you, you're saying something when you are on the same floor as Keith Bogans, Joe Forte, Jordan Collins, John Sandusky, and others. And your name is Ryan Johnson, and you've been the most impressive player on the floor all night. Hogue trying to grab the rebound, eventually gets it. Here comes CBC, and there's Johnson again for the cadets. Collins gets it 
to DeForte. Joe Forte is fouled, and that will belong to DJ Ho. Second foul for Ho. Yeah, they were trying to get into a little bit of a fast break there. He said the math are pretty lethargic uh, today, uh, despite the comfortable lead. And the crowd making the fire stick as well. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you people, wake up. What's wrong with you? You see the halftime show they had? They knew you were coming. Yes, yeah, sir. The Pattonville Drill Team with their uh, uh -huh. Mark McGuire tribute. Uh, I saw that. I was moved. Yeah, they, they, I, I, I welled up a little. They said, Joe Buck is in the house. Let's, <laughs> let's get the show. Well, that's right. That was, that was nice. Damatha with Sandusky. For three, I have no idea what that guy's name is. This is Forte. Forte with a drive, and he's fouled. We'll call the foul on CBC and they will give it to Rick Wallace who tried to draw the charge. Yeah, Ricky Wallace from the backside got him. Uh, CBC was in a good position, Macklin to take the charge, but Wallace got a good piece of Forte. By the way, 10 minutes ago, it was Dan Burris who tried the three pointer and missed. Forte to the line. Minute 40 left, third quarter. I mean, these are some ugly free throws thrown up by Forte and yeah, Logan. He's, uh, he's really struggling with his shot. Am I too loud? Do you think these kids can hear me right now? Forte. I mean, he touched every ounce of iron and gets it to fall. So CBC will bring it up the floor. Down by only eight. With about a minute and a half left in the third quarter. Ryan Johnson. So good tonight. Why not? Pulls up, hits. Ryan Johnson has 19 points. Yes, he worked off the high screen from Tamar Macklin. Instead of playing up top, Ryan Johnson able to step up and get another jump. This is Dan Burris. This is Sandusky with about a minute left. Here in the third quarter, and we're looking at a six-point game with the number one ranked team. Number one ranked prep team in the country. How about this, DeMatha pulling the ball out? Gosh, what's going on? <laughs> Crowd's booing DeMatha. And why not? It's a who's who list of who's going to major college programs. And they've got all they can handle with CBC right now. Burris, no good. Rebound, short. And Macklin comes down with the rebound for CBC. And here comes Ryan Johnson, a half minute left, and it's a six point game. Very important to get a quality possession here. You don't want to take a bad shot and then get a transition. You want to get a nice quality possession and get a good shot. As Ryan almost traveled it, uh, maybe eat my words here. <laughs> DJ Hong will drive. He nearly traveled as Johnson takes control. And they will try for one shot under 10 seconds, third quarter. Johnson, Ryan Johnson, short with the air ball. The putback is up and in. DJ Hogue, and it's a four-point DeMatha lead at the end of three quarters. Would you have ever dreamed, Earl Austin Jr.? No, <laughs> I'll be honest, but great effort, and that's what you talked about. You play hard, and you compete hard, make some plays, and you're down four at the end of three quarters, and a great hustle play by DJ Hogue, and that's what we've seen. They pretty much out hustled and out worked. Obviously, they're giving away a lot of talent, a lot of size, but when you work hard and hustle, you never know what happens. Yeah, you're right. The Matha might be the more talented team, but CBC is a harder working team here through three quarters as they trail by four. From the baseline, Ryan Johnson has 21. It's a two point game. Sandusky with an ugly shot. And here comes CBC down with a trip, a chance to tie or take the lead with a three. Plus an opportunity maybe for the crowd to get into the game. CBC now two points down and the number one team in the country with a chance to tie or maybe take the lead for a three. The hometown crowd maybe can get into it. Wide open is set for three and CBC takes the lead. And here's the crowd getting into the game. Ryan with great penetration and Ryan Sapp, the sophomore, stepping up with a nice three to give the cadets the lead. DeMatha with more than a wake-up call. They're staring at a nightmare here in St. Louis as they trail by a point, fourth quarter. Shot not there for Bogans, and a foul over the back is Collins. 
let's go back to the first quarter. Remember we talked about when they had that slow start, CBC, we talked about how CBC needed some success, a couple of baskets, just to give themselves some confidence early, and Ryan Johnson gave that to him. And you can see how he has pretty much lifted this team to a point where now, you know, they're getting a little confident and say, hmm, maybe we can, uh, we, we can do something uh, in this game of pool that I'm saying. And I think that's what they have to do. They have to be confident to them. They're not thinking about staying in the game now. They're thinking about winning it. Pass underneath the home, and he does well just to keep it alive for CBC. The Cadets with a one-point lead. Six-plus minutes left, fourth quarter. Macklin will drive. Rebound taken down by Woods, but the math takes it away. Forte with a pull-up, he hits. And the math back out in front. You would imagine or all the Bogans and Forte better take over here for the Mathis. Yeah, you'll see the ball in their hands quite a bit, trying to create some shots as uh, they get the team from the What an impressive showing by CBC as they trail by one. Johnson turns it over, good hustle. And a jump ball will be called. It will belong to the Mathis. That time, Ryan Johnson, they're backing off Ryan. He didn't read it right that time. He needs to step up, maybe hit the shot as he has been doing that time. trying to force it. Forte for three as he starts to heat up and now has 17. Sam Dusky with a tie up as he and Hogue tied it up and now CBC has the possession arrow. Like we thought, when the first sign of adversity, you see the, the two All Americans starting to get involved. Forte is really struggling from the perimeter, stepping up from the wing and hitting the 20 footer with a four point lead. Four point game, CBC down by four with a basketball. Ryan Johnson, who was a part of the state championship team with CBC a couple of years ago, right in the center of it all, gets it to Macklin, ugly shot. And the foul will be called as Macklin picks it up after, well, it was a disturbing shot by Macklin. Yeah, and threw it up. if I'm that backboard, I'm very disturbed because I think it's still shaky from the, the force of the miss. Uh, he was just never on balance. And, uh, what he needs is that jump stop. He likes to take it to the basket from 15 feet area. We saw the great jump stop that Kent Williams had from Mount.